Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Today we're going to look at a portion of a passage that's really a longer narrative found in Proverbs chapter 7, and it's telling the story about two people out looking for trouble. A young guy looking for a woman to get involved with and a woman looking for a guy to get involved with. And they're both in the wrong place with the wrong attitudes. And, 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 and what happens is in the passage, we're going to pick this up in verse 19, we're going to learn this lesson. There's no secrets with God. We may think we can cover our tracks and cover our sin, but God always sees. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 7, beginning in verse 19. This man who's looking for trouble has found the woman that he's going to get involved with and, and, and immorally engage with her. And so they're talking, and she assures him they're not going to get caught. Here's what she says, verse 19, Proverbs 7. She says, my husband's not at home. He's gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and will not be home till full moon. He has plenty of money. He's doing business. He's coming home a long time from now. And then the passage says, with persuasive words, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. All at once, he followed her like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a noose till it, an arrow pierces his liver, like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing it will cost him his life. See, we think we can get away with stuff. We think no one will know. I think of in, I think of in 1 Samuel chapter 11, where David, who's king, takes this woman who lives near him. She's actually the wife of one of his command, military commanders who's off in the battlefields. He brings her up to his room. He takes her physically. He takes her sexually. And then he does all he can to cover his tracks. But what he's forgotten is that he knows what he's done. And she knows what he's done. And eventually Joab, his military commander, finds out because David sends a letter with Joab to, out to the fields. And, or, or, I'm sorry, sends, sends a letter with Uriah, the woman's husband, out to Joab. And the Joab leads it and realizes that David wants him to basically have this woman's husband executed because she's turned up pregnant and he wasn't home the husband wasn't there when she got pregnant, and they're going to figure out it was David. I mean, David, David thinks he's covered his tracks, but it seems like everyone is. But ultimately, here's the key. God knew. And God sent the prophet Nathan to confront David. So even if nobody knows, we know, and God knows, and God has a way of bringing things to the surface because he wants us to turn from our sin. And so when you look at this passage, you discover that this woman has a sense that my husband's away, we'll never get caught. But here's the message for today. There's no covering our tracks when it comes to sin because we know and God knows. And almost always, eventually, other people find out. So here's the encouragement. Don't just cover your tracks. Stop walking that road. Don't cover your tracks. Repent and stop sinning. What's one area in your life right now that you know it's time to stop? It's time to turn away from that. Let this be the moment that the Spirit of God reminds you that there's a cost involved every time we walk down that road. And so turn and repent and follow Jesus. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer. We can oftentimes think that we've gotten away with things. We can oftentimes think that if I do this again and again, it's not going to cost something. But God, you know, and we know, and it seems like others eventually find out. So our prayer today is for each one of us. We would choose one area that we're wandering and turn around and come back home. Instead of covering our tracks, Lord, let us walk the right path. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, blessings on you. Have a great day. If you're part of a local church, be part of that church this coming weekend. If you're part of Shoreline, we'll see you on campus or online. God's blessings on you.